taifa lililoimarisha mfumo wake wa usalama ni taifa linalojivunia maendeleo endelevu kwani sekta zote zinategemea sana mazingira thabiti ya usalama ili kunawiri na kuwafaidi wananchi the growth of the economy uh, of any country uh, is supported by a secure environment if people do not feel secure they will not go around school they will not engage in social activities uh, they will not interact they will not build they, they will not trade and of course the economy will not grow baada ya kuchukua hatamu za uongozi mwaka wa 2013 rais uhuru kenyata aliapa kipaumbele marekebisho ya kuboresha usalama wa taifa kwa miaka kumi sasa serikali ya rais kenyata imewekeza vilivyo kuboresha sio tu usalama bali pia maslahi ya walinda usalama national security and defense has been a priority area since 2013 because we cannot deliver on our national anthem's promise of plenty within our borders if these borders were porous and insecure i therefore made security a top priority because i know that without a secure environment no life can flourish and no enterprise can thrive Marekebisho yamefanywa katika shughuli za usajili wa maafisa wa usalama ili kuboresha huduma zinazotolewa kwa wananchi. Idadi ya maafisa wa usalama wanaosajiliwa kila mwaka sasa imefikia elfu kumi, ikilinganishwa na miaka ya hapo awali. We've come from a, a police to population ratio of 1 to 900 in 2013. And then then that has been reduced to 1 to 600. We are within the striking distance of the UN zone prescription of a police to population ratio of 1 to 450. And to do this over the last 10 years we've recruited about 100,000 police officers. Sio hayo tu. Maafisa wa usalama sasa wanapokea mafunzo mahsusi yanayowapa uwezo wa kukabiliana na changamoto za kiusalama za karne ya 21. The transformation of our security sector has without doubt been one of the most significant endeavors of my administration. We continue to add new arrows in the quiver of our national security by retooling the resources and capacity of our security agencies. The government has invested heavily in creating special uh, security teams or special operation groups uh, within the police service, specially trained and prepared for various purposes uh, of uh, providing security. Serikali ya Rais Kenyatta pia imeboresha vifaa vinavyotumiwa na maafisa wa usalama. Hii ni pamoja na uwekezaji katika teknolojia ya kisasa ili kurahisisha utendakazi kama vile kubadilishwa kwa mfumo wa usajili wa matukio kwa njia ya kidijitali al maarufu occurrence book na pia mfumo wa CCTV wa kufuatilia matukio katika sehemu mbalimbali. The distance between the police station and reporters have been reduced uh, with the use of uh, tablets and uh, mobile phones uh, which contain the uh, uh, this occurrence book app applications uh, that is uh, we are able to reach uh, uh, out to uh, reporters wherever they are especially those who are unable uh, to reach police stations uh, such as uh, the sick and persons living with disability and uh, those who have uh, unwilling Uh, to use the traditional uh, manual occurrence book you cannot um, tamper with the digital lobby what has been put there is backed up to the system so it gives an opportunity for efficiency that is one two um, it gives efficiency for a correct um, recapture of um, events or happenings such that it's more accurate as compared to the paperwork because in this sense timings are given and the data are given by the computer itself form wameleta ya tablet so mambo yako inafidiwa pale ulikuwa unapata saa zingine kama karatasi imekosa lakini pale kwa details zako zitafunguliwa tu kwa kwa hiyo tablet so siku hizi wame advance si kama hapo kitambo kwa hivyo government imefanya kazi na iko sawa ili kuhakikisha kuwa maafisa wa usalama wanawafikia wananchi kwa urahisi na kwa muda unaofaa. Maafisa wa polisi sasa wana magari ya kutosha kutokana na uwekezaji uliofanywa na serikali ya Rais Kenyatta. Our officers are now much more mobile than they were because just recently 
uh, through the police leasing, I mean, the vehicle leasing arrangement that serves the police and the national government administration teams, we now have over 2,600 brand new vehicles out there under the leasing program that are used to move our officers around. Mobility is no longer an issue now in the security sector, whether or not we can move officers from one end to another is no longer an issue at all. And then we are able to uh, respond to challenges in real time um, in many parts of the country. This system ya kulisi magali ambayo inatusaidia katika kikosi cha polisi imesaidia uh, kwa sababu samani gari ngekua iko mafuta hakuna gari iko lakini imeharibika lakini saa hii gari kiharibika tunatumana kwa company wa wale ambao walitupea hizo magari na inatengenezwa haraka gari inarudi na kasi inaendelea siku hizi hata a member of the public akipigia polisi simu akiwa na shida who ana respond like mimi several nimeshapiga simu i'm just a member of the public i'm not an officer nimepigia polisi simu wana respond immediately kama kuna shida wanakuja rais kenyata pia ametilia manani swala la kuboresha maisha ya walinda usalama hivyo basi wekezaji umefanywa kwa njia mbalimbali ikiwemo huduma za afya na makazi bora kwa walinda usalama we have also invested in the welfare of those charged with our security personnel which include a review of the remuneration benefits and other allowances upgrading of housing provision of insurance and increasing the capacity of the health facilities used by our security personnel we are also having a medical cover agreement with NHIF and our medical cover program we are currently improving on our response to mental health challenges in the service having recently deployed professional psychologists and counselors across the country mambo ya housing imebadilika sana polisi wamepewa allowances za kuwawezesha kupata nyumba mahali popote pale wanapotaka pia uh, welfare ya polisi katika matibabu tuko na covers tuko na NHIF ambayo inakava sisi kama polisi aidha wekezaji umefanywa ili kuhakikisha kuwa Kenya ina mfumo bora wa kukabiliana na changamoto za kiusalama hasa kupitia idara ya upelelezi wa jinai DCI the impact of the president uh, personal uh, uh, intervention in our training can be felt the officers themselves can tell they are among the best trained not only in africa but today they can compete with most uh, in the world personally he ensured not only the training because of the training level because we may have equipment which we don't have the standard of training the training was actually improved he ensured that our officers uh, and requisite training uh, in uh, reputable countries where the training was very high Kenya sasa inajivunia maabara ya kisasa ya uchunguzi ambayo ni ya kipekee katika eneo hili. Through the ultra modern facility, our shared commitment to unraveling capital offenses such as murder and robbery with violence and combating emerging and transnational organized crimes such as terrorism, drug trafficking, illicit arms trade, counterfeiting, smuggling and offenses against wildlife also gets a monumental boost we have what we never used to have so the president personally has ensured and supervised at this national forensic club we have today even some of the cases which used to take us years to kind of unravel what was the mystery or who are the hazards of the crime today within a very short period we only tell criminals today you can hide for a day to a week but we are not going to go very far we are not going to go very far. Actually, actually, this one can be attested because of the efforts which we are going. It is because now we are properly trained, we have proper tools, we have proper equipment, and uh, literally, I can say, not unrate ourselves, we rate Kenyans down. The president has done his best. Items of evidence are transient, meaning they take little time for them to disappear. So the longer time you take to attend to a crime scene, the lesser evidence you'll be able to achieve so that you'll be able to analyze to get the required evidence. But with modernization and the upcoming of this forensic lab, we are able to do things on time. 
having the technology we have, we have been able to train them on how to package each evidence on which evidence bag to put. Idara ya DCI pia imebadilisha mfumo wake wa kuripoti kesi za uhalifu katika juhudi za kuwashughulikia wananchi kwa haraka. The confidence the Kenyans had about this uh, giving information through this police hotline. They used to say they are being betrayed. You are going to know who is calling you. This fichuarine uh, is one of uh, uh, way of managing crime. It has been configured in a manner that whoever calls from wherever you come, nobody can tell where you are calling from. Nobody can actually tell who is calling. Na hali ya usarama hata vile iliko sahi yote tunasema ni ushirikiano wetu wa 90 na idara ya DCI. Kenya pia imepiga hatua kubwa katika kukabiliana na tatizo la ugaidi nchini. Then the same is not something which is very small to succeed. By the time you see them succeeding, they are planned a lot. And they use a lot of scientific kind of logistical tools for them to to manage to penetrate security of a country intelligent and all that and manage to uh, to, to 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 strike hand as we have always known they have managed to strike so the president uh, made sure that he has absolutely invested in the security and invested in the security in a multifaceted manner which actually has really made us to be able today to ensure that now we are not only equal to the I mean to the planning and the smartness of authorities but we are ahead of them today because from that time what he vowed he vowed to me and he told me uh, DCI may this be the last that our cities or anywhere that the authorities are going to succeed it is crucial for security officers in hotspots to undergo also continuous training that adapts them to the changing trends in preventing and fighting terrorist related activities this includes pre-deployment training for all officers posted to such operation areas ushirikiano baina ya taasisi mbalimbali umefanikisha juhudi hizi my administration's multi-agency approach and intelligence led approach in tackling security issues has also significantly led to improved security especially in netting terrorists and a higher conviction rate for all criminal cases presented before court the president in his capacity as the chairperson of the national security council uh, formed and insisted that we now henceforth must work in a multi-agency framework coalescing security sector actors in a multi-agency uh, uh, framework to collect and collect information and intelligence on, on uh, possible terror activities, to monitor and profile any possible uh, terror activities, and to enforce any responses uh, that would deter or disrupt uh, any uh, possible uh, terror threats or activities, uh, is what the government has done effectively in the last 10 years. And as I said, when you look at where we were when President Kenyatta came to the office and where we are today, I mean, it's, it's miles apart. It's, it's like you are in two different worlds, uh, as it were. Our multi agency has been a, a, a blessing, a completely blessing. That's where we put all our resources, all our expertise, and have a synergy of this unit, that energy, I mean, this uh, unit, we pull them together. And that way, you see the best production of the security in terms of controlling terrorism today can be enjoyed by Kenyans. One of the big successes by His Excellency the President since he took office 2013, he, he introduced the multi-agency approach concept within the security agencies, which has gone a long way in fighting organized crime, including terrorism. This concept has brought the agencies in security together. We have been able to synergize and achieve better results. We really don't uh, want to leave anyone out when it comes to the security of the country, you know. So, at the sublocational level, you'll find there's a peace and security committee. The person who sits there, the assistant chief being the chairman, I'm just giving you the multi-agency approach. You'll find that you have, uh, you know, the chairman of the peace committee, in the village. You have the Nyumbakumi committee chair in the village. You may have um, even the local NGO that, that uh, you know, that mainstreams 
development activities sitting there just to provide information katika juhudi za kuhakikisha huduma za serikali zimemfikia mwananchi maafisa wa kiserikali wa ngazi tofauti yani national government administration officers wamekita kambi mashinani the principal roles of national government administration is first and foremost to act as the most reliable and effective bridge between the national government and the people because national government communicates policy decisions policy directions and the you know policy frameworks through the national government administration the national government gets feedback views opinions and and the and and the, uh, the needs of the developmental needs of the people through the national government administration so so the national government administration then is that effective and reliable bridge as it were two the national government administration backs the national government implementation uh, of of public policy and implementation of national uh, activities as it were three the national government administration works closely with county governments and county government administrations to ensure that the enforcement and implementation of uh, public policy uh, by national government does not conflict county government activities at this level i have seen the six counties at the county level the county commissioner uh, you know oversees his sub counties at the lower level we have the dcc who oversees, oversees his uh, divisions and locations below that there is the scc who oversees the locations and then of course the chief oversees the sub locations and the at the sub location level the assistant chief oversees his, his uh, villages and nyumba kumis to ensure that whatever goes down there is in tandem with that what government has set out to do at that administrative level they, they come in with the other government services like the, the, like the ministry of education the extension services from the county the agricultural office and all these eh? so w w when we have that service nearer to them and then our team on the ground that is our chiefs and assistant chiefs through their security and the peace committees they are able they, they are able actually like on a daily basis to meet and discuss a lot of issues and over the period i've seen uh, a reduction in terms of security and also an enhancement in terms of uh, coordination of uh, uh, government uh, government activities and even non state actors who work within uh, those jurisdictions serikali ya rais kenyata imehakikisha kuwa mafisa hao wamewezeshwa kutekeleza wajibu wao kupitia njia mbalimbali mbali. for the first time we are working without any political interference we have been given room to discharge our mandate we have been advised to do our work professionally provided we serve mwananchi as expected or rather as provided for in the constitution serikali kuu imesaidia sisi sana kwa sababu katika mambo ya maendeleo development project tuko na tuko na regional development coordination committee ile inashughulika na mambo ya region kuna county development implementation committee so mirandi yote ambayo inatekelezwa katika nyanza tuko nayo na kama hiyo mirandi kwa mfano imekwama ni jukumu letu sasa sisi kama kamati tunatembelea ule mlandi tunajua tunaangalia tujue shinda ni nini na kutukishapata shinda ni nini tutafanya mapendekezo kwa ile inaitwa national technical development committee ya narobi na kama ni upande wa pesa ilikuwa na shinda serikali kuu inatuma pesa na huu mradi unamaliziwa initially we used to have a lot of wastage when it comes to repairs and other issues that are related to vehicles and other utilities but this time round through that uh, leasing uh, uh, model uh, we've seen a lot of efficiency which make officers now to like every county commissioner has uh, as vehicle deputy county commissioners as vehicles kule vijijini machifu wanawahudumia wananchi bilivyo kwa ni sasa wana mengi yanayowarahisishia kazi kama vile njia mbadala ya usafiri na pia bajeti iliyotengwa kwa shughuli za ofisini saa hii kazi ya chifu inapendwa sana kwa sababu kiangalia pay slip kuna, uh, kuna allowance ambayo ilikuwa haiko kuna administrative allowance ambayo chief unapata 15000 assistant chief anapata 
hiyo inakuwezesha wewe hata kama umeamshwa saa ngapi za usiku unaweza rudisha simu kwa yule mtu anahitaji mara moja na ukamhudumia nyingine ni, ni kwamba tunaenda workshop mbalimbali mbali. tunapashwa uh, tunakumbushwa tuna, tunapashwa misuli kwa hivyo kuwezeshwa ni kwingi initially our offices were not uh, failed with the stationaries at times uh, writing material or even uh, in terms of uh, facilitation for communication. But uh, upon the uh, assumption of office by His Excellency uh, President Uru Kenyatta, we've been able to be facilitated, mainly in terms of transportation and making uh, uh, mobility a bit easy. Kwa ukweli naona serikali mefanya kazi nzuri na kwa upande wetu vile tunaendelea tumepata kusaidiwa kwa pikipiki nakalia saa hizi serikali ndio umetupatia na hiyo ndio imefanya kazi nzuri kwa upande wetu kama tukisikia mambo usiku na mchana imetendeka mahali tunaenda kwa haraka sana na pia kasi yetu imekuwa rahisi na kwa saa hizi hata ukienda ofisi unaendea tu pikipiki yako haina kasi mingi serikali inatujengea maofisi hiyo ni kitu kingine muhimu tena na hiyo ofisi unajua sio ya sisi kama chief speaker yetu hata ya wananchi ndio inafanya sasa tunahudumia wananchi karibu hizo zote tunapata because of the president so it is good uh, i wish you well we are monitoring all the activities on that end uh, because we want wa Kenya katika sehemu mbalimbali mbali nchini wanaendelea kushuhudia matunda ya hatua kubwa zilizopigwa na serikali ya rais Kenyatta tangu mwaka 2013 ili kuimarisha usalama wa nchi hii samani kupata ofisi ya askari pengine unapata mpaka ndodo after traveling for 20 minutes 20 kilometers of which ilikuwa ni mbaya kwa usalama wa wananchi lakini by this time wakati tumepata hii serikali kwa hiyo miaka 5 imepita tunapata huduma kwa wananchi ni karibu sababu ukiangalia ofisi ya chifu karibu na wananchi unapata ya OCS karibu na wananchi unapata ya county commission na karibu na wananchi so huduma kwa wananchi na wananchi inakuwa ni 100% tumekewa ulinzi wa kutosha ukienda hapa pangani tayari wako RDU ukienda witu iko kambi ya jeshi na ukisonga huku mbele kidogo milihoi wako tena kambi kwa hivyo hatuna wasiwasi saa hii tukilala tunalala mzuri saa hizi hatuna insecurities popote ambapo unaenda kuna roll blocks mnaangaliwa kama wewe ni mkenya ama umebeba nini tunashukuru sana rais uhuru kenyata Biashara imekuwa kwa sababu saa hii kama saa hizi unaona suppliers wangu dolphin wameniletea mzigo wanaenda pila lamu hawana wasiwasi na mwenye mwenye mzigo anahakikishiwa kwa mzigo wake imefika salama salimini kwa kweli Kenya imepiga hatua kubwa katika kuboresha usalama wa nchi maslahi ya walinda usalama na utoaji wa huduma kwa wananchi kama alivyoahidi rais uhuru kenyata juhudi hizi zote zimesaidia Kenya kuafikia malengo yake ya ruwaza ya mwaka 2030 na yale ajenda kuu ya maendeleo ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kwani usalama wa nchi ni kitovu cha maendeleo The president has not just kept his promise he has overdone it i mean he has gone way and far beyond everyone's expectation We continue to tool and to retool our security resources to the highest standards in order to keep our people safe and secure and to preserve our territorial integrity in a just fair democratic and safe country for all Tangu mwaka wa 2013
Ooh.